It appears the Fed's had like 20,000 phone calls with Danny. There's perhaps a similar number with Burke. You're looking at 40,000 phone calls oh um, <laughs> just with those two guys. Um, so somebody described Danny as, uh, to me as, as sort of a freelancer in, in City Hall, just wearing a wire on everybody anywhere in the building. And let's talk about what Danny did. Nobody runs into the federal government and says, I want to wear a wire. So what did he do to get caught and to be in this position so that he had to turn on his colleagues? Well, we now know that, that, that uh, the federal uh, agents uh, had a search warrant uh, that they were going to execute in, back in 2016 that laid out uh, a series of things, uh, some very embarrassing things like uh, Danny allegedly uh, would go to massage parlors. Uh, that were arranged by uh, a uh, friend slash lobbyist who uh, uh, allegedly paid for them and also supplied Danny with Viagra. Uh, a lot of it. Yes, and in, in exchange for this, the government alleges that, uh, that uh, this lobbyist was uh, pushing Danny to help him with a one of his clients, which was a, a, a street sweeping company, that was using city water and was uh, facing uh, exorbitantly new charges, uh, and, and was going to it wouldn't uh, could have effectively put Elgin them out of Street business. Sweeping, Elgin which is street another sweeping. fixture with the Cacciatore family. The Cacciatore family, family which uh, also is, has incredible real estate interests in this city. Right. Uh,